Welcome back to German Motors and Engineering. Today we have a 2018 Jeep Grand Cherokee in our workshop and this, this one was born as an SRT Jeep. Means it has 6.4 liter displacement, um, it is a natural aspirated engine and it has less than uh, 500 horsepower. But this one is special because we installed not only a supercharger, we made it uh, a Trackhawk supercharged Jeep SRT mix. Let me explain. Um, first of all, what you can see is um, the KNN intake system. Then we have a 2.65 liter displacement Edelbrock Roots type supercharger. And also uh, underneath the car is our three inch uh, stainless steel exhaust system, our active exhaust system for that car. And these components, basically, um, that's the package which we usually install in 6.4 liter SRT Jeeps to, um, to raise the power up to 620 horsepower, something in that range. But for that car, we installed Trackhawk engine internals. We used a Trackhawk crank, uh, crankshaft, a Trackhawk uh, pistons, rods, camshaft, valve springs, push rods, um, yeah, basically everything which makes that engine a Trackhawk engine. Those two engine types, the 6.4 um, Hemi natural aspirated SRT engine and the 6.2 liter Trackhawk or Hellcat engine, they share the same housing. And also um, the heads from the engine have the same shape of ports, but they have a different bolt pattern for mounting the supercharger on the 6.2 or the intake manifold on the on the 6.4 and that's why we used this Edelbrock supercharger because it comes with the bolt pattern for those heads which come with that engine from the factory but the whole engine is now working like a Trackhawk engine because it has all those bits and pieces inside which makes it a Trackhawk engine except of the belt drive and except of um, the the bore pattern to mount that supercharger. But we are supercharging it with this Edelbrock supercharger and it's even bigger than a supercharger from a Trackhawk. This Trackhawk supercharger has 2.3 liter and this is a 2.65 liter. So it's bigger and it has more potential to move even more power. And right now we are running it on the same boost level as we are running our SRT Jeeps, which is around half an atmosphere, means 50% more air, and we will break in the engine in this condition right now, and at a later point of time, we will upgrade the belt drive from six rib to eight rib, and we will raise the boost and inject more fuel, and then see where we will end. At this um, point, we did program the engine and the transmission in a way that the car drives like a factory car. And this was some weeks of programming. We're using HP Tuner's equipment to uh, read and write the engine computer and the tr uh, transmission control module. And we managed it to, to uh, use parts from the SRT software, parts from uh, the Trackhawk software and parts from our supercharged SRT software to create um, a calibration which addresses all the changes that we've done. And I swear this one drives like a factory Trackhawk, although it was born as an, um, as an SRT. And how it drives, that's uh, the thing that I would like to show you right now. I think power-wise we should be at the nearly same level as we are with a 6.4 liter Hemi and an Edelbrock supercharger which, which is around 600 and some uh, uh, crank horsepower and this, these Trackhawk internals in our 
SRT housing um, results, I think, in the same power because we have 0.2 liter less displacement. We have a compression ratio, which is lower than an SRT engine. And those two things, less displacement and less compression ratio, should result in less power. But we have the Trackhawk camshaft and this Trackhawk camshaft opens the valves longer and it opens the valves higher. So we have a better airflow. And I think our camshaft compensates the other two things. So we should be at the same power level as we are um, with a 6.4 liter Hemi. But we have a much, much stronger engine. And this is the point. With this setup, we have more room to get more power afterwards. And with uh, yeah, more, more boost and we will gain more boost by upgrading to an 8-rib belt drive. Momentarily we have a 6-rib belt drive but we will upgrade it to a bigger belt drive and we have to redesign and uh, manufacture all the pulleys and all the dampers and everything um, new in a 8-rib version and we will change the, the ratio between the supercharger pulley and the crank damper. So we will spin that Edelbrock supercharger higher and at the end of the day we will be between 800-900 horsepower, I think. But momentarily this car has nearly the same horsepower like a 6.4 SRT which is supercharged with that specific Edelbrock supercharger. And what is amazing is that this car drives like it was never yeah, different. It's, it's, um, it drives like from the factory. I spent many, many days in that car to program all the bits and pieces together uh, from... Yeah, I used parts from the Trackhawk software, I used parts from a standard SRT, I used parts from our supercharged SRT calibrations and everything fits together so nicely that you think that you are driving a stock Trackhawk. It responds that immediately to, to throttle changes, it yeah, drives so linear and so powerful that you would not think that this is an SRT Jeep anymore. Those SRTs, they have big engines with their 6.4 liter natural aspirated Hemis, but they are big powerful giants. And this is not a big powerful giant anymore, this is a big powerful monster. Already with, with this um, half atmosphere boost level, which we are driving to, to break in the engine, and it will be even more impressive as soon as we give it more boost. But what makes this car very unique too is the sound of the exhaust. Because yes, we have our um, three inch uh, stainless steel active exhaust installed in that car. But with these engine internals right here, we have such a nice sound. It's, it's, it's not that smooth like it is with an SRT. It's a little bit more rough. And when you lift the pedal and the engine goes into a deceleration fuel cut, then you can hear the exhaust doing this little rumble bumble. Like this. And I love this. It's, um, that's the moment when the injectors um, are closing because you don't want the injectors to inject fuel under deceleration. Deceleration is a, is a driving condition when you want the car to slow down. And why should you inject any fuel when you are going to slow down? So the um, engine computer cuts the injectors off and when it's cutting them in this moment, the mixture between air and fuel is leaning out and with a lean mixture um, it cannot explode anymore. But you are transporting unburned fuel into the exhaust system and as soon as this is enough to, to, to light up 
it explodes and this makes this little yeah these these explosions which are not in the same order as they are when they are coming from the engine itself they are yeah they are scrambled and this and this gives it this little rumble bumble sound you now know what we did right here so let's enjoy and listen to that beautiful exhaust sound So guys, I hope you are um, happy right now because you can upgrade your SRT into a Trackhawk and don't need to be sad because you did not had the opportunity to buy a Trackhawk in the, those few years when a Trackhawk was being built. We can make your SRT engine basically a Trackhawk engine and it drives as a Trackhawk. So if you want us to do the same thing with your Jeep SRT, let us know, give us a like, send us some comments or an email, call us, whatever you want. Yeah, thank you for watching, see you next time.